Okay, so right now we're dealing with polar projection. So for this, what I want you to do is just write down what you see in red. Um, I will read everything. Make certain that you also pay attention to the images that you see. Polar projection. The polar map projection is a planar, planar, planar projection. Um, plane, all right? So flat surface. That's basically what it means. The major problem with this projection is that it does not show all of the Earth at one time. Okay. It is useful for airplane navigation because distance is shown correctly. So this is um, the best example of this polar projection. So here you have, and I wish, let me see if I get, yeah, right here. So, oh, All right, so right here, this is the North Pole, right? The very northern point of the globe, all right? Now, what you see here, this is North America, Canada, the United States, um, and then this is Mexico. But all the way over here, you see Asia, right? Um, this looks like Europe, and then this must be Africa. This looks like it's uh, maybe Saudi Arabia, something like that. Um, this is India, um, um, uh, China, and more of South, I mean, more of East Asia. All right. And this is Alaska. All right. So you're able to see all of the northern part of the globe. All right, and the same would be true for the southern part of the globe as well, okay? <clears throat> so that's a polar projection. 